I think there's that, I call it a holy tension between what we pray for and and what we then believe. You know, I think so often you pray for a healthy marriage or you pray to be restored when things go wrong or you pray for things in your life or your family, you know, just what how we pray, period. Um, and But then there's this disconnect after we've prayed to actually believe that God will come through or can come through in the ways that you hope he does. I, I think about the man in Mark who had the seizing son and he said to Jesus in the same breath, I do believe, help my unbelief. How in the same breath is he saying, I do believe, I don't, I do, I don't, I do, I don't. And I, I kind of lived there in this instance with Bobby and, and in a few things that we went through um, with, with one of our children, where here I am on stage, on platforms, you know, mm -hmm. preaching, teaching, speaking, leading. But there were moments when I thought, do I really believe that God can heal this marriage or can walk with my prodigal child or, or can really change habits or behaviors within me? And I feel for that man. I do believe. I don't believe. I, I think there's a few reasons why we experience that holy tension. Um, sometimes it's just flat out doubt, fear, embarrassment. And sometimes I think we have that spiritual scar tissue that just sits in us and, and only God can heal that scar tissue, you know, and though you may be left with a scar, anytime I see, um, we're still in pro ball, we love it, but anytime I see a ball player messing around and I know his wife at, at home is waiting for him, missing him with the babies, it, my heart goes back to that pain and I just pray and pray for that, that person. There's that scar tissue there, but, but I believe that's why God brings us through scars so that we can offer that hope to other people. And, you know, if we have the guts to get through that holy tension of believing for what we've prayed, we will see him change us. We'll see him change the world.